Hello everybody, my name is Smagzak and welcome to a very disturbing animated skit of Alien Isolation. Now, I was recording part two and I edited part two and then when I went to go export part two, I've lost part two. So, in order to obtain part two, I decided to do a brief summary of part two. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a little animation skit to help visualize exactly what is going on right now. So I am just going to zoom that in a little bit. Uh, can I... Ah, oh, yes, good. So we begin with the, t the ship of some sort. I don't remember what the ship's called. But we have a ship, and we're on the ship, and our best friend dies. Remember, remember that guy that died? Yeah, he dies, and there's going to be a clip right here of him dying. I hear something. I hear something. Axel? What have I got on me? So, after he dies, we have to go and continue to our journey to the communications array, where we wish to obtain our other ship. This guy right here. This ship is flying around, do to do, trying to get communication to the other, or to us, or anybody else on the ship. But as we all know, the ship is pretty much abandoned because of the xenomorph, and something else that will pop up here pretty soon. So this thing is flying around trying to figure out what in the world is going on. And then, after that, we have our Xenomorph friend who does appear in this episode. So he appears while we are looking for a uh, the black box, which you do find the box for our parents, which we find out is completely corrupt, which means we don't have any information on what happened to our mom. So that happens, and then all of a sudden the Xenomorph is just like, hey, buddy, how's it going? And then we... And then we die a lot. So basically, after we die a lot, we find ourselves um, in a different facility. We find ourselves in a facility that is, in fact, give me one second. We have our little synth dude who decides to appear in this episode. We He is found somewhere in the facility. We're going to make him just about that big. So say that he's over here. Then we have our character, which will be this smiley face. Okay, so we have the smiley face, which is our character now. So this is our, us. We're walking around, do, 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 and then we find that little motion detector thing, right? So we have the motion detector thing, which now tells us that Al, who is now facing this way, is coming towards us. And we're like, oh crap, he's coming towards us. So then we also flip ourselves around, and we're looking at Al, and Al is like, hey, but how's it going? And then these guys become evil and try to kill everybody. So we have to avoid these guys as well as Al, which is not a fun experience. So... After we make it up to the communications array while avoiding both of these people, do, 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 then we find Rob, which is um, which is the robot dude that was doing the space walk with us at the very, very beginning of the game before we got hit by the space junk. He finds himself in a uh, predicament because the girl that was with us uh, is badly wounded. So there's going to be a footage here that tells us everything about it. Samuels! You're alive! It's Ripley! Ripley! Taylor, it's Ripley. We were getting worried. We I thought... made it! Where are you? Uh, we're at a transit station now. It's right by medical. Okay. Samuels, listen to me. It's not safe here. Siegson's got this place locked tight. Their goddamn androids are killing people! That's impossible. It's contrary to primary synthetic programming. I've seen it, Samuels. I guess Siegson's got a different idea about synthetics. And there's something else here. A creature. It's big and it's lethal. Ripley, slow down. A creature? It's a life form of an unknown type. Some kind of alien organism. It's extremely dangerous. You and Taylor Ripley, need to make- Taylor is hurt. She was injured by debris during the crossing. How bad? I can't move her. I need medical supplies. We need to treat and pack the And injury. the Torrens? The radio is broken. I can't contact Verlaine. We're on our own. Shit. Okay. I'll come to you. Keep your eyes open. I'll send a transit car to you. Okay, so after that little footage, we have to make our way all the way back. Do, 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 do. 
avoiding these guys because these guys become assholes and nobody likes these guys so we have to avoid these guys get all the way back here this ship's still flying around in circles we make it down to the transportation place whatever those things are called um the freight crates is what i'm going to start calling them uh so we make it down to them and then we we meet our friends yada 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 they tell us that we have to go to the medical wing and that is exactly where we kick off in part three so this was my brief and messy explanation of part two this is really short it was fun uh we got a couple clips in here we got good animation good animation is always good um our face now becomes this face here we are become a very sad individual um because we have to keep going on and on to the medical wing and that is where we kick off so thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed this little animated skit of what happened in part two because we lost i lost the footage of it because i am an idiot and i didn't save the footage when i was supposed to so i hope you all enjoyed say say bye to al bye al okay he waved um say say bye to these assholes bye and then that's about it. And then we will see you in the next video. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, stay awesome. And I'll see you all grow little faces in the next video. I said that three times now. So, goodbye.